Well, I want to share with you today how I created the model for assignment 110, the construction blocks model that then you had to create by scratch uh, from, from a new file. So I'm already have already opened a new file here that I call 123 scratch model, which means we're building it from scratch or from nothing. So I, I have only the front plane visible here. I turn the other two off. So I want to start with a sketch on the front plane. And then I'm going to hit the end key to turn everything normal. My first model that I need to create was a rectangle. And again, I'm not really trying for any particular size here. So I'm going to create it up like this. And I think that really the, the things I'm looking at about three by five, something like that, probably would, would be close to what the rectangles were about. And again, they don't have to be exact for what we're doing here. We're just trying to model our uh, rectangle. So I create my rectangle sketch, and I'm going to click on the green check mark to finish the sketch. Now, before I do the extrusion, remember these are always in pairs, sketch and then extrude. I'm going to turn on the ISO view so I can see it from the side and I can actually tell I've extruded. I'm going to click on extrusion. I'm going to click on what I want to extrude and it pops out about an inch which looks good. I'm going to click on the check mark. Now I no longer need the front plane because I've got my first extrusion so I'm going to turn off the front plane and now I want to add to this plane until I build that model that we saw in the construction blocks. So once you have an extrusion, you can actually add a sketch to that extrusion. I can add a sketch to any plane. I'm going to add it to this side over here. And then I'm going to hit end to make it normal. And now on this one, I actually need to create a uh, half circle. Well, the easiest way to do that is to just do a circle. And we want to uh, start that circle so that I'm going to click somewhere not in the center, this dash line, but a little bit behind the center because we know that this curved edge has to hang out the back here. So I'm going to come a little bit behind it and I'm going to pull it up until I actually make the front edge of the circle be lined up with the front edge of the rectangle. And I'm going to click. So that makes my circle line up with the front here and hang out the back like it's supposed to. But I don't really want the whole circle, so I'm going to add a line to it. I'm going to click on the line tool, and I'm going to draw a line across the center part of the diameter of it. And then I'm going to hit Escape and Escape again. And then I don't need the bottom part of the circle here. So there is a pair of scissors up here, which is your trim command. I'm going to trim off the bottom part by clicking on it, and now I'm just left with a half circle. Quickest way to get a half circle is to start with a circle and half it. So I'm going to click on the check mark to say I'm finished sketching. I'm going to turn it back to the isometric view. And now I'm going to extrude, which is always the second step of sketching. I'm going to extrude this part, and I'm going to extrude this part. And so this probably is a little bit wider than an inch. So I'm going to make it 1.5 just to make it look more like the actual drawing itself. Hit enter. And I'm going to click on the green check mark to finish. So now I have, if you turn this around and look at it from the, um, from what is basically uh, this back view, or that actually would be the side view on yours. You see the little part sticking out of the back here. I may have made it a little too tall, but it's fine. We're just trying to get the model to look approximately right. Okay. So let me go back to the ISO view. Now I've got my rectangle and my half circle. So I'm going to add another sketch. Again, I can add a sketch to any surface I've already created. So I'm going to add a sketch to this half circle. And I'm going to turn it normal so I can see what's happening. And this time it's really easy because all I have to do is duplicate the rectangle on the other side. So I'm going to click on the rectangle tool, click on this bottom corner, and I'm going to go up to the top corner of this one. And I'm going to click, and then I'm going to finish that sketch. And then I'm going to go back to isometric so I can see what happens. There's my sketch in there, and I'm going to extrude it. And you have to click on it in two parts because it breaks it there at the line. And now I've got my second rectangle and I click check mark there. 
So I've got almost all of my part built from scratch. The last thing I need is a little rectangle on top. So I'm going to add another sketch on the one of these top surfaces. I'm going to hit N to make sure it turns over so I can see the top surface. Again, I just need a rectangle. So that rectangle sits at the back edge near the part sticking out. So I'm going to start in the corner. I'm going to draw a rectangle down to here and I'm going to make this rectangle uh, about this wide. That looks about right, about a third of the way. And then I'm going to finish that sketch. I'm going to go back to isometric so I can see what happens make it a little smaller, and then I'm going to extrude this stuff, this uh, rectangle on top. Again, it's in two parts. I need to go up a little higher on this one. I'm going to go up to about three and enter. And that may be a little too far. I'm going to go two and a half. I'm getting, again, I'm just kind of eyeballing it, sort of making it look like the actual construction blocks model did. We're not so concerned with dimensions right now other than just modeling. I'm going to click on the check mark. And there I have it. I have my um, I have my self-created part, which now looks identical to the one that we had earlier with the uh, the one that I had earlier with the construction blocks. I now have it built from scratch with all four components put together. From here, then you would actually then create a drawing. So you would insert a drawing to get your next part and see a. And depending on how quickly it pops up here, you would then do your front, your top, and your side view, and then add your dimensions. And so that would be the subject of another video.